Friday and today we are going to Epcot. Look, there's the Epcot. No, I'm only joking, that's not Epcot Ball. That's Tower of Terror because we are going to Epcot, but we're taking the Skyliner from Hollywood Studios all the way over to Epcot. And it is a hot one today, so I'm hoping that uh, Skyliners are going to have some air conditioning because it's very hot today, isn't it, Dad? Yes. Yeah. So, Already. let's go. International Gateway, so the back entrance of Epcot. Ooh. Thank you. So around this time in Epcot, they do their food and wine festival, and they have a lot of different festivals that they do. So they have like the Flower and Garden, they have the food and wine, and as well with food and wine, you can get the festival passport. So it's from July 27th to November 18th, and basically this just tells you all the merch and over here so the different areas so you've got belgium brazil and what food and beverages they do and i think that's so cool that's such a unique advantage i'd say it's just so guys we are now in the queue for ratatouille we've been in here for 10 minutes and this is a 45 minute wait and we nearly Like, they imagine as you're going through the queue, you're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. 
hard to become a rat. We've got our 3D glasses that we put to wear. They look very snazzy in these, and I might say so myself. When I was talking about how we've shrunk from being rats and stuff, and how they spring you down smaller, look at the walls. was just amazing like when it when you came to being in like when in Remy's kitchen like again oh my god the smell was amazing it smelled like red like a baguette I know I really want a baguette so it was a 35 minute wait on that ride and the theming of it is just amazing it was so, it was just so how do I say it like Christian yeah, that one. It was so like you could feel, you thought you were actually there. And then when it came to the actual ride, that it was so good. Remy's is such a good ride. Like basically, it takes you on a journey to get to Remy's kitchen, and you go through the real kitchen, and when you get splashed with the water and you get the fire, and you you actually feel the heat of the fire. And then when he sticks his hand out to try and grab it, and then he whacks it on a mouse trap. I like I just went, oh my god, like it scared the life out of me. Like my body just jumped out of my own skin I was like scared but other than that like other than me getting scared of that it was such a good ride it was so much fun and the trackless that is just wow so guys we are now about to go into Guerland the perfume shop because I love perfume and it smells so nice and it's got a nice breeze coming in so let's go have a little wander I know that's the one I like This is Misty or Rose and Roses. It's very sweet. This is the one I like, the Misty or it's the original okay. uh, Oda Toilet. Over there is going to be with the one second for Oh, I can smell that one already. Mm. Okay, so we're now to Beauty and the Beast sing along and we've never actually done this before and we're just going to look around and look at all these costumes and by the way these are the real costumes from the real movies, theatres, productions and operas so here is Maleficent, that's her head, her headwear and her dress and her scepter then over here is Belle, it's Belle's, I think this is her travelling outfit that she goes to find her father in and um, yeah, Belle's dressing cake. And then you've got Cogsworth, Lumiere, Mrs. Potts and Chip in the magic mirror. Valjean's barricade coat. And then that is the Phantom's mask and the hat costume. And you get the sheep costume as well. And then over to the Hunchback of Notre Dame theatre production. And this is Cosimodo's like out Cosimodo's costume and the gargoyle puppet that they use in the show. And then over here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Beauty and the Beast sing along. Every day, like the one Unexpectedly. Oh, 
so we've just come out of Beauty and the Beast and that was so cute, it was so sweet. And apparently LeFou actually saves the day, but now we've just come out. We didn't even realise there was a gift shop here. And right inside the gift shop is a little French cafe and we're going to get some food because it looks delicious. Like, look, look at the sweet treats there. And I've got a ham and cheese croissant and a chocolate hazelnut beignet and mum, mum, dad's got another chocolate beignet. Oh, is that yours? That's oh, mine. That's dad's. And dad also got a ham and cheese croissant toasted. And um, what did you get mum? You got a... Croque monsieur. Croque monsieur. And then I got a very large phantom. Very big. It's so big, it's like... It certainly feels strange eating a croissant with bread and cheese. With ham and cheese, sorry. But it's lovely. I'm waiting for you. We, I've got my beignet. I've already taken a bite of it. We're going to take another bite. Because it was really nice. It kind of tastes like a donut a bit. Like a chocolate filled donut. Mm. Mm. That's good. So guys, we've just come out of the little French cafe now and it was the food was just gorgeous like it was so nice and super filling as well I would say like it was just amazing and we also met this lovely couple and their mum and dad from South London so from Bath and where are my sunglasses? On your chest. Oh. I was say, I kind of need them because it's a bit sunny right now. It is today. Style. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was the food and just talking to them, it was just so, it was so lovely. And we were in nice air conditioning and now we're just going to have a little wonder around the world. So guys, I've just got some henna done on my hand and my finger and oh my god, I actually love it so much, like it is so cute. And basically what I've got to do is I've got to leave it on for 15 minutes and it'll start, once it's fully dried, it'll start to flake off and then it'll leave an orange base and then overnight it'll turn into about, a it'll turn like a maroony brown colour and then it will go and it'll just look amazing and I can't get it wet for three hours as well, but it's so cool. We've just come out of the American Adventure and don't ask me any questions about it because I fell asleep. What? What do, you, what do you expect me to do? I'm not just going to watch. I just fell asleep. All I remember hearing at the end was America. That's all I remember. <laughs> the America song. We're now on our made a little pit stop at the small town station. Um, but we are currently making our way to Guardians because we are 87 and they've just called 84 so we don't want to miss it. They've got little food and wine banners. Like zoom in on that. They've got food and wine festival banners on. So they just Q. run. They just run all day. Granad Selwyn would love this. So there is the big clock in Germany, like actually in Germany, and we're now just going into Caramel. Where I think you can get snickerdoodles. I'm really confused what a snickerdoodle is. So you can get a Wednesday which is a snickerdoodle sandwich. What's a snickerdoodle? According to German tradition, the pub rings good luck and was the last ornament placed on the tree on Christmas morning. The first child to find the gherkin was rewarded with an extra little gift by Saint Nicholas. This tradition encouraged the children to appreciate all the ornaments on the tree rather than hurrying to see what Saint Nicholas has left for them. Oh my gosh, so you can actually buy like pickle ornaments. Yeah, so you can actually buy regular pickle ornaments. So you can buy sparkly pickle ornaments. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank
The girls have gone on to Guardians of the Galaxy by themselves. I've decided to give it a miss. You don't come on the ride. We get come on, everybody. You didn't come. No, you can't control yourself any longer. That was so, and it makes it so much better because you get like so much energy when it goes on. It was, it was just like amazing. And I think I'd found out where the picture was. And at that time, me and Mum were just doing that. And so I was like, the pictures was doing that. And oh, it was the best thing ever. Like it makes it makes you so much more hyperactive, doesn't it? Like it gives you the more that energy and. How can anything make you more hyperactive? <laughs> So you enjoyed that ride? Uh, yeah. So which is your favourite then? Guardians or Tron? Guardians. Guardians now? Are you sure? With that song? Or if you were if you were to have With that song, yes. With that song. Cool. Right, let's go sort some more stuff. Chris, you guys have just done soaring and we got on soaring at 3.40, so 20 to 4. And it said it was 25 minutes. And we thought we were gonna get on the ride about 25 um, no, five past four, um, and it's currently 4.03. So we've got on and off before, in, within 25 minutes, and that is very good. Because last time we were here, we were queuing for over an hour. I think it was just last time, there were too many lightning lanes going through. Oh yeah, oh yeah. An awful lot of lightning lanes going through. Yeah. Which didn't help. But then, we went through, it was a lovely ride. I always love soaring, it was smell. We were on the bottom one, and you could smell it more than you could at the top. And it was just, Yeah, it did seem stronger. Yeah, it was just so nice. I love that ride, and I always will. Or attraction, should I say. So, just as you walk out of International Gateway, you see full of friends. You've got Daisy in her lovely little apron. And then, on the other side, next to Daisy, you've got Minnie in her beautiful red dress and yellow shoes. They're gorgeous. When you come out, we've just come out of the gate, International Gateway, and we are now having a nice lovely walk to Boardwalk, because it is literally just across the bridge. Literally, and um, just across the river, or the little lakey thing, um, there's Yotton Beach. We are now in Bodwalk, so let's go. So, you can come and visit the Boardwalk shops anytime you want, and you can come have a look at the resort. But the actual resort itself, to stay here, you have to be a Disney Vacation Club member. And I can see why. It's a very, very nice resort. It's spread out. You've got this lovely lake in the middle. You've got so many shops around you. It's, it's And you're really close to Epcot. You're literally two minute walk away from Epcot. So guys, we've just left Boardwalk and we did a little tour of one of the studios and one of the one bedroom suites that they do there and they are like really nice, like we didn't vlog too much because we were chatting about things with Sean and it was really nice and like you have to buy points and stuff so if my mum and dad win the lottery, we might do it but right now, we're okay <laughs> but now we are just headed, we've literally just walked over another bridge to come to the Swan and Dolphin and I think we're just going to have a little wander around here for a bit because I don't think we've done this before, have we? We haven't really been around here. This is exciting. We are now at the swan bit. Oh. Set me on the day, I deserve a bag. And don't forget the flowers every anniversary day. I'll be the perfect guy buying groceries buying, buying what you need So now, after a long, treacherous walk from there to here Made it at the Dolphin Oh, I need to go lay down now If I was to go to the yeah, I'm going to get my hand 
everywhere. Yes. It's so pretty here. Like, look how gorgeous this is. So as soon as you come in, you've got Rosa Mexicano, and then back down there is the fitness center, pool area, and restaurants. And then right opposite it is Todd English's Blue Zoo. I'm gonna go touch the water. No. Shoe then. We're now going upstairs to the lobby. It's very pretty in here. I love it. And the convention centers up here, so it kind of reminds me of Coronado because there's a convention. Wow, Lily. Wow. 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 We're currently at the Dolphin and we are at Peekaboo for some tea. I've seen people eating it before, it looks really nice. So we just finished our food at Peekaboo, it was lovely. Um, and now we're just going to think we're heading back to our Epcot to go finish off some rides that we haven't done. The test track is at a 60 minute wait right now. The first and ever after is at 85, and the fish bird is at 5. I don't know that's a big man. But yeah. So let's go to Epcot. Right? Between the Swan and Dolphin, all together, they have a total of 18 restaurants. 18. That's a lot of restaurants. And they all look very nice. We just had some food at Peekaboo, which was so nice. Mum and Dad had the, what did you have? You had the Peekaboo market. market meal. And then I had a pizza because obviously I love pizza um, and it was gorgeous. I had a piece of the chicken and you said the chicken was literally just... Yeah, the market meal is uh, half so a chicken, nice. two sides yeah. and then it's a uh, and the, kind of like a bit of a family meal kind of thing. And you've got a family meal that's a full chicken and three sides. Yeah, that was $32 but you didn't want that on each side so we went for a pizza. We just had a little wander to Beach Club and this is also a DBC and it looks very very nice. It looks very beach style. Like if you watch the summer at and pretty, it looks like a proper beach house. Like you know what I mean when I say that. It looks like a proper beach house, it's very nice. So we've just had a little look at the pool like from the gates because obviously we can't go in. Um, the pool is huge, like it is humongous, like I don't even know how to say it, it is massive and it's all like different shapes so it's not all, it's not all one pool, there's like little bridges, little rocks separating it all off and we are actually now at the beach club bit and the pool, let me just show you this guys because if you look on the My Disney Experience app and you have it tracking your location you can see so all this blue bit here is the pool. And that's pretty big. So now we're just gonna head inside the beach club lobby. Lily, that's Auntie Sophie's favorite. We've just had a lovely little walk around Boardwalk, Yacht Beach, Swan and Dolphin, it's been so nice. But now, we're back at Epcot because we're gonna go Space Earth if we haven't ridden it yet. And that is a crime. We need to ride Space Earth. I love that ride. Let's go. So, back in Epcot, in the UK Pavilion, and there's music! What's it about? Um, it's about the future of the earth. Uh, like, no, it's not. 
It's about the history. It goes back in time. Back in time and then it goes forward in time. Yeah. It's about it's about being back in the time and then it shows you what your future could be. Oh. today it was so much fun so i hope you all enjoyed today's video remember to like subscribe and hit the bell notification bell so you're notified every time a new video pops up and we will see you guys tomorrow for day 10 of our holiday bye and remember live your best life Mwah.